everyone, Sydney here from ChicStripes.com and Beyond Biz, and welcome to my three tips for helping you increase your newsletter engagement. That's all something that we know we want, so here's some tips and tricks on how you can do that. Number one, put those hearts, smiley faces, lightning bolts, and tacos in your subject line. 56% of companies that used emojis in the subject line had a better open and engagement rate than those that did not. Also consider this for a spin. Consider a clickbait-y title. If you don't know what a clickbait title is, it's usually a bait and switch type of tactic. But in this instance, what you're really gonna do is you're just gonna make a more engaging newsletter subject line. So for example, a recent attendee of one of my newsletter workshops was putting out her newsletters, which were great, with the simple subject line that was just the name of her blog. Nothing really inherently wrong with that, but after she went through the newsletter workshop, her very next newsletter came out and guess what the title was? Hot dogs, tacos, oh my. Instantly more clickable, more fun, and way more readable. Number two, send that thing out on a Tuesday. No one is in the mood for newsletters on Mondays. They're just recovering from the Monday blues and trying to get caught up on work. We all know Fridays are out of the question because people are checked out into their weekends. So that leaves us with Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Surveys show that Tuesdays are the best day followed closely by Thursday and then Wednesdays. So if you really wanna make sure your newsletters get read, send it when the people are reading it. Look for days that start in T, or W and you are gonna be good to go. Tip number three, share some personal tidbits and information about yourself. This is one of my favorite things to do in my own newsletter and one of my favorite things to read when I read other people's newsletters. As Instagram stories have shown, people love the behind the scenes, they love that glimpse into people's lives and they really wanna just see behind the curtains. Now, if you're more of a private person, then you can start to share maybe some of the behind the scenes of your business or a day, day in the life, whatever that may look like for you and in whatever capacity is comfortable for you. Some of my workshop attendees have put this in place by sharing either a day in the life of their business or sharing the inside scoop of cool places that they've been that maybe their readers haven't been yet. This allows them to be personal without sharing super personal information. Others get way more personal and they start to share their workouts, what they're eating, where they're traveling, what they're drinking, and those are really fun too. I want, I love to know what my fellow newsletter writer people are working out or what they're drinking or what they're reading. And then what that does, these little nuggets connect you to the reader. They make you more relatable. They take you away from being this internet person to being a real person who drinks too much coffee and who got sunburned this past weekend at the river. Oh. Maybe that's just me. However, that is a much more relatable tidbit than if I just said, hey, happy Monday, we had such a great weekend. No, give those details. When people can relate to you, they more likely are to feel connected to you, and if your end goal is to maybe sell them a product, they are more likely to buy from you because they have built that relationship because you have shared those personal things with them. Thank you guys so much for watching these three tidbits, three tips for helping you make your newsletters get more engagement. And if you want more, you can scoop up my how to write newsletters that people actually want to read workshop plus BD PDF. And for a limited time only, get a bonus MailChimp tutorial for absolutely free. That's right, I'm gonna teach you how to write a newsletter, I'm gonna tell you what should be in it, how to do it, and I'm actually gonna work and show you, walk you through the steps, show you how to set that up in MailChimp so you don't have to waste any of your time Googling. Trust me, I wasted a ton of time in my life Googling, so if I can give you a tutorial that makes your life easier, I'm gonna do that. So you can get both of these things for $19.99 for two days only. So that's right, you have today and you have tomorrow. This cart is going to close Wednesday at midnight, so you gotta get it in. After that, the price for these workshop materials goes up for $40, so you can get them now for half off. So if you wanna increase your newsletter engagement, you're ready to start taking things to the next level and maybe even making a few sales from what you're talking about, be sure to get this workshop PDF, all the materials, and the bonus for free for just $19.99. So see you guys there, and happy newsletter writing.